Hi, my name is Jerry Boschman, the author of Hope Beyond Hell. For many years, I was a missionary with Youth with a Mission in Mexico, Asia, and Africa, and now I direct dental training for missions. Universalism, to most Christians, means that all beliefs are equally valid, all roads lead to heaven, Jesus is not essential, and sin is irrelevant. This is not what Rob Bell says in Love Wins. He says clearly that no one comes to the Father except through Jesus, but he also discusses the judgments of God and helps us see how they harmonize with God's desire to restore all. Jesus said, I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw, literally drag, all men to myself. Paul wrote, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Rob Bell glorifies God by not limiting the full implications of these passages. And he's not alone. Millions of us, the world over, believe as he does. We are not confined to any one church or group. We are simply believers in Jesus. Love Wins is a beautiful expression of what we believe. It's one of many. Others include the Blessed Hope, Larger Hope, Victorious Gospel, Irresistible Grace, ultimate reconciliation, biblical and Christian universalism, and in some circles, universalism. But as it is commonly understood, universalism is not what we believe. All beliefs are not equally valid. Jesus Christ is central to our faith. He is Lord of all. Sin has serious consequences, and all roads do not lead to heaven. Though all roads don't lead to God, Christ searches for his lost sheep until he finds them, no matter what road they're on. 99 sheep out of 100 is not enough for the Good Shepherd. He died for us all. There's no single term for our view of God. Perhaps this should tell us something. When asked his name, God said, I am who I am. God is too great to be identified fully by one name. So is our faith, our hope. It's tragic that our faith has been maligned by the misuse of the term universalism. It has prejudiced many against us before even knowing what we believe. Is it heretical to believe that God is greater in love and power than most think He is? We proclaim a God who loves all people with unending, unfailing love. We uphold the authority of Scripture and the supremacy of Christ. We elevate both the blood of Christ and His absolute triumph over evil to their rightful place. We are in every way Christian. Let me be very specific. Jesus died for our sins, rose again, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He's the only begotten Son of God, the only way of salvation. We greatly magnify His deity since we believe He fully destroys the devil's works, as Scripture says, and accomplishes all His will. Only God can do that. His blood is the only power in the universe that cleanses from sin. The truth that love wins can unite Christians from all backgrounds in proclaiming good news to the world fulfilling Jesus' prayer in John 17. Initially, it'll create a stir like birth pains, just like we see in this controversy over Rob Bell. This is not about a man, it's about the character of God. But controversy is necessary to force the church to rethink its hell-driven gospel. The Holy Spirit is shining His glorious light on the teachings of the church. All wood, hay, and stubble will be burned. The fire is kindled. Who, in their heart of hearts, truly believes most of humanity is destined to eternal suffering? Be honest. Only a minority insist on this. They seem to be the most vocal, wise, and prudent. Referring to the Day of Judgment, Jesus prayed, I thank you, Father, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them unto babes. Are you one of the babes Jesus was referring to? An eternal hell contradicts God's character, and most will admit it. Who's not repulsed by such a horrid doctrine? Even its proponents admit the difficulty in accepting it. No defense of it can truly satisfy us. It's something we've learned to tolerate. We give it lip service, but inside we block it out of our minds. How else can we cope? Can you relate? Has it ever caused you to doubt if God is even real? When the church as one body embraces the glorious truth that love wins. It will transform our worship and our witness. The joy that will radiate from God's people will draw multitudes to Christ. 
How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. The gospel is truly glad tidings. No longer must we admit to our grieving neighbors that their deceased loved ones are suffering in hell forever. There's no bad news in the good news. Can you imagine how this will transform evangelism and missions? In all the controversy over Rob Bell, ask yourself this question. Who truly has good news? For an in-depth biblical look and study for Love Wins, I invite you to download Hope Beyond Hell free at hopebeyondhell.net. That's hopebeyondhell.net. You might be pleasantly surprised by what you read. Thank you.